Naomi Osaka is set to make her first appearance at a major tournament since the 2022 US Open at next month's Australian Open, a Grand Slam she has won twice before. Naomi Osaka's super-aggressive style will help the four-time Grand Slam champion compete when she makes her return to tennis at the Australian Open. Osaka is one of the most popular and successful players in the game, but she took a sabbatical to give birth to her daughter. Osaka has landed in Australia ahead of her 2024 comeback, taking to social media to wish her fans a Merry Christmas. The 26-year-old, who last appeared in a competitive match at the 2022 Japan Open, will begin her return to action at the WTA 250 Brisbane International before competing at Melbourne Park. Osaka spent the entire 2023 season away from the game on maternity break after welcoming her first daughter, Shai, in July. With her anticipated return now imminent, Former pro Barbara Shett believes Osaka's youth and style could see her hit the ground running faster than Caroline Wozniacki or Angelique Kerber. Well, they have completely different game styles, Shett told Eurosport. Caroline Wozniacki and Angie Kerber, they're a little bit more defensive. They do like to play with the pace of the opponent, but they don't have those killer shots like Naomi Osaka. We've seen Caroline Wozniacki at the U.S. Open playing in her onesie and she was just moving like in the old days. But let's not forget the age difference. Wozniacki is over 30 and Naomi Osaka is in her mid-20s. That does make a big difference. Even if you don't give birth at that age, you're starting to get a little bit slower and things get harder. And Novak Djokovic even said it. I am not as fast as I used to be but I have to work it out in a different way to beat the opponents. Shed added, My biggest worry is that, Angelique, Kerber and also Wozniacki, are struggling with the pace of those girls a lot more. Whereas Osaka has always been super aggressive. And she's never had problems with the pace of somebody like Serena Williams as well. They both don't really take the initiative as much as Osaka. But who knows, maybe Angie Kerber is going to play serve and volley. When we see her, who knows. Shet believes motherhood could lead to a more relaxed style of play from Osaka, who is a two-time Australian Open champion. But she doesn't think either Osaka or Wozniacki will win down under next month. Adding, I think they both have entered the Australian Open not thinking that they're going to win it. They're definitely ready to compete. Their ultimate goal will probably be to win a Grand Slam title, but not necessarily right away at the Australian Open. After competing in Brisbane, Osaka will make the trip to Melbourne ahead of her first Grand Slam appearance since the 2022 US Open. She has made use of her special ranking to enter the tournament, and intends to win it.